Hello everyone, I'm Brian Quardragon and welcome back to Microsoft Ancient Land. Today, Homer the Greek Bard. Let's get started. Of the wrath of Achilles, goddess Satan. No, no, that won't work. Ah, no, 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 no. Goddess, sing of Achilles' wrath. No, that's not right either. Sing, goddess, of the wrath of Peleus' son, Achilles. What? No, no need to shout. I'm not deaf, you know. All right, all right, I'm coming. I'd get there sooner if you'd give me a hand. Hmm, smells like a good feast. How's the crowd look? Well, I wouldn't ask if I could see, now would I? All right, put me up in front so I can get started right after they serve the lamb brains. What? Oh, I, well, I think I'll begin with the Iliad. Hasn't failed in 30 years. Oh, you must have heard of it. Oh, well, all right. Just click me and I'll give you a little preview. That's weird. It's only coming from the right ear of the headphones. Call me Homer. I'm a traveling bard. No, bard. It's a kind of poet. Well, we travel around and sing our songs at dinner parties. My best work's about Troy. Surely you've heard of that. It takes three nights to tell the entire story of how the Greeks sailed off to lay siege to Troy. Sing, goddess, of the wrath of Achilles. The wrath that placed ten thousand woes upon the Greeks and hurled many stout-hearted souls of heroes into Hades and made them a feast for dogs and vultures. Okay, don't know what I did, but yeah, it's coming from both sides of the headphones now. Yeah, not bad, huh? Well, maybe you're right, the crowd sounds a little young. Ouch, what was that? Well, tell them to tie the string tighter on the yo-yo next time. Eh, maybe they'd like the Odyssey better. There's lots of shipwrecks and monsters and witches and such. Sing to me of the man, Muse, who suffered many ills on the sea and grieved in his soul for his lost companions. Children always like toys that spin and whirl, and kids in ancient Greece were no different. They loved tops, yo-yos, marbles, and other toys. Anything that let them do tricks or show off. Yeah, things haven't changed much, have they? Hmm. I think this crowd could use a good scare to straighten them up. How about a ghost story of Nemesis and the Fates? I'll tell them how the third fate can always cut lives short just by snipping a thread. On second thought, why don't you just round up a couple of jugglers to keep them happy and I'll play to the adults. Take me out of here. Pink Toes of Sunrise. No, no. Rosy Fingers of Dawn. That's better. Ah, good idea. Let's try the next house. Thanks be to Zeus, I'm always welcome in the common man's home. A lot of people still respect an old bard. When I pass a doorway, it's a wise man who invites me into the dining room. He gets to put on a show for his friends. I get a good meal and a place to spend the night. No, I don't need much money. Some people think I'm a beggar, but I give most of it away. I prefer to sing for my supper. Coins even make good business cards for me. You'll find the faces of my heroes on a lot of Greek money. This one, it feels like, uh, swift-footed Achilles, right? Well, take your word for it. I've been on the road longer than Odysseus sailed the wine dark sea. I've sung my tales from Macedonia to Sparta, and a lot of other traveling bards have taken them even farther. Nowadays, at almost any feast, you'll hear one of my stories. They seem to travel right along with the wine and oil. Well, all right. I suppose if you hang around long enough, I can teach you some. Well, let's start with the gods. You got a dozen just on Mount Olympus alone. The Zeus with his thunderbolts, Cow-faced Hera, Aphrodite. Now, you're a little young for her just now. Here, how about Poseidon, god of the sea and earthquakes? He's always a crowd-pleaser, and he really caused trouble for Odysseus. 
stirred up a storm and sent my hero off to the land of the Cyclops, the one-eyed giant. Oh yes, that'd make a good start indeed, but we'll have to get to that after tonight's performance. Click me again to take another tour in the meantime. And that was Homer. A very fascinating. And anyway, that's the last of the Greek guides. Next time we start the Roman guides. I'm Brian Quadragon signing out. Stay straight.